The weather outside is fine. Hey, welcome back. It's the Carton Show. Just enjoying the uh, hey. spirit here. Uh, I will say, um, my people, our music is not as festive. Sure. Uh, that being said, I love Christmas music very, very much. And happy to be here enjoying a big weekend with you guys. Real quick, before I get to Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys, there was one very fast, very fast bit of news from Major League Baseball. There's this Japanese phenom pitcher whose last name is Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Everybody in baseball wanted the guy. The Mets wanted him. The Yankees wanted him. The Giants, the Dodgers, everybody wanted the guy. The Dodgers got him last night. 12 years, $325 million. And here's the rub on it. He has never thrown a single pitch in this country. And they guaranteed him 325 million bucks. And if the LA Dodgers do not win a World Series, it is the biggest waste of money in the history of sports between what he got and what Otani oh, yeah. got. But that being said, the Mets didn't get him. The Yankees didn't get him. The Dodgers now own the sport of baseball and the great Japanese players that want to come over here and play, obviously, with the two signings this year. They've now committed $1.2 billion Ooh. to two guys. We always but say, again. like, championship or bust. This is championship or, like, you all get fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 By the way, and I'll right. do you one better. You have to win, like, four or five. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I'm not sure if one World Series is enough <laughs> at all. when you spend that kind of loot on dudes like they have. But I wanted to acknowledge it because it is a very big deal for those of you that are getting into the hot stove of Major League Baseball. Now back to the sport we really care about. Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys. Major issues on the road this year. More on offense than defense. Uh, that being said, it just such a let's just it's so easy. I don't have to complicate things or bring yaks into it. It's very <laughs> simple. You're a great home team. You score 40 points a yeah. game. You're undefeated. You beat the Eagles. Whoever walks into Dallas loses. And on the road, you score uh, 15 points less. You're under 500, and you don't have that signature win on the road. And you can see the splits right there, obviously. Undefeated at home, 40 points a game. Under 500 on the road, 21 points a game. The, you know, the whole thing sucks on the road, right? Uh, that being said, none of that matters if you take care of business against the Miami Dolphins. And I've said, as Jacoby referenced earlier, uh, since Monday, the Dallas Cowboys will be the best team that the Miami Dolphins have played all year. And I'm a firm believer that the Dallas Cowboys get that signature road win, and I do think they will beat the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, the bottom line is, if you go back to last week's game, the ball, excuse me, the Buffalo Bills were the most physical outfit. So if you plan to go into Dolphin, Dolphin Stadium and get the job done, you have to beat the Dolphins up up front because they're dealing with some injuries on both sides, right? You're talking about Zach Martin being down and uh, Tyron Smith being down, possibly for the Cowboys. And so did the Miami Dolphins. They have issues on the offensive line. But if you're Michael Parsons, man, you got to be able to get home. And this outfit, defensive outfit for the Cowboys, they got to be the most physical outfit. They got to take it to two and they got to be able to get home. Yeah. And he has to have a more dominant Here's game. the weird thing about it. This game is actually far more important for the Dolphins than it is for the Cowboys. Yeah, the Cowboys yeah. already have the little X next to their name when you look at the stand is online and that means they're in the playoffs so they're in the quote-unquote tournament right Miami's not and there is actually a road and this is crazy to say this with only three games to go there is a road for them to be the number one seed win out win your last three games the Miami Dolphins are the number one seed they get the bye but there's another side to that coin there always is and the other side of that coin Jacoby is they could lose out Oh, and yeah. if they lose out, very tough schedule, as you know, there's a chance they don't make the playoffs. Now, I don't think anybody yeah. here thinks the Dolphins are not going to make the playoffs. Possible. But it's on the table. It's, it's on very the table. Possible. But if you look at their schedule, and they, we saw this in week one. We're like, whoa, look at the end of that right. schedule. Cowboys Those are all big Bills. dogs. Yeah, there's a chance they win out and become the number one seed. But there's a much bigger chance Big. they lose all three of those games. They don't win the division. The Bills win the division. And then they are on the road in the wild card round in the playoffs. Yeah, but even further than that, because that would get them to seven losses, uh, and I don't want to get too in the weeds on all the tiebreakers. Yeah, 
and all that. that. It is legitimate that the Miami Dolphins could be on the outside looking in and not make the playoffs. Now, a lot of other teams have to win their games. There's a lot of kind of cohabitating going on, uh, a lot of ancestral type relationships Ooh. there because a lot of these teams all play each other, right? Yes. So there's going to be some cannibalization amongst the AFC teams. Oh, we get but imagine with three weeks to go. You could be the one seed. You could be not in the playoffs. No, you said it right yesterday, Thank though, you. when you talked about two and yep. chose the wrong time to talk about receipts. Solely because of that schedule. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, you got to stand like Because play that out. Yeah. He talked smack yesterday about, oh, yeah, I suck without Ty- Tyreek. I suck, blah, 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 right? Yeah. All the negative narratives. If they lose out mm-hmm. and they don't get in, which, again, I don't think it happens, but it's certainly on the table to happen. You know exactly what the media is going to do. Um, hello, uh, Tua. You were saying right. <laughs> you just lost four out of your last yeah. five and have one of the biggest disappointments in the history of NFL. Yeah, 100%, because both teams are doing great at one thing, beating below average teams or average teams, right. right? These are all big dogs. These are all quarterbacks who are big dogs. So if you're, at the end of, if you're two at the end of the day, man, you have to play your best ball for the next three weeks, like your best ball ever. To actually come out the building with a W. So, best of luck, man, but it starts in Dallas. And I hope he brings his A game. Yeah, but the the point made earlier, which is the best point, is that these teams are exactly the same. They're both dominant at home. And they're both eh, on the road. Like the Dolphins' losses aren't at home, right? It's the Kansas City loss in Germany. It's the loss in Buffalo. And then the loss in Philadelphia, right? They They don't lose at home. But they're going to lose at home this weekend because yeah, the Dallas Cowboys represent the Grinch <laughs> of Christmas as they go into Miami and get their signature win. And I'll tell you what, in the NFC, nobody wants those Rams, nope. including the Dallas Cowboys. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out, too.